Louise Elisabeth d'Orléans, also known as Mademoiselle de Montpensier, was born on December 11, 1709 in Versailles. She was the daughter of Philippe II d'Orléans and Françoise Marie de Bourbon. Louise Elisabeth was the sixth child and fifth daughter of the couple and she was a granddaughter of King Louis XIV through her mother, Françoise Marie, who was a daughter born from the relationship between Louis XIV and his mistress, Madame de Montespan. Louise Elisabeth received a poor education as the Duke and Duchess of Orléans cared little for their children. Philippe had to tend to the needs of the country as he was the regent of France and Françoise Marie was self-centered and lazy. In 1720, Philippe V of Spain proposed a double marriage between Spain and France in order to strengthen their bond. His daughter Mariana Victoria of Spain, aged three, would marry Louis XV, and his eldest son, Louis, Prince of Asturias, would marry a daughter of the regent. But by this time, all the Duke of Orléans' eldest daughters were married. Only the ten-year-old Louise Elisabeth and her much younger sisters, Philippine Elisabeth and Louise, remained as a possible choice for the marriage to Louis. Therefore, it was decided that Louise Elisabeth would marry the heir to the Spanish throne and that Philippine Elisabeth would be betrothed to the Infante Charles of Spain, who was the third son of the King of Spain from his second marriage to the ambitious Princess of Parma, Elisabeth Farnese. The marriage between Philippine Elisabeth and Charles of Spain would never happen. The exchange of the princesses Mariana Victoria and Louise Elizabeth was performed during a ceremony of great pomp and circumstance on the Isle of Pheasants in the middle of the Bidasoa River on January 9, 1722. Mariana Victoria left Spain for the French court and the young Louise Elizabeth left her homeland for Spain. The wedding between Louise Elizabeth and the future Louis I was celebrated on January 20, 1722. Louise Elizabeth had just turned 12 and her husband 14. The immature couple did not get along very well. Louise Elizabeth was disliked at the rigid Spanish court and she misbehaved terribly in several ways. On January 15, 1724, the mentally ill Philip V abdicated in favor of his son, who became King Louis I of Spain. Thus, at the age of 14, Louise Elizabeth became Queen of Spain. Unfortunately, Louis I of Spain died on August 31, 1724, after only seven months of reign. Due to the young age of Louis and Louise Elizabeth, no heir had been produced and thus Philip V returned to the throne of Spain. The already extremely unpopular Louise Elizabeth, who was now a widow at the age of 15 and who served no further purpose at the Spanish court, was left destitute and remained under strict surveillance by the Spanish court. Meanwhile, in France, the engagement between Louis XV and the Infanta Maria Victoria was broken off as the Infanta was too young to have children yet. It was decided Mariana Victoria would be returned to Spain. The French decision caused a deep rift between Spain and France, and on March 15, 1725, the unloved Louise Elisabeth was sent away by Queen Elisabeth Farnese of Spain and discreetly returned to Paris, where she arrived on May 23rd. The unfortunate Dowager Queen of Spain was also unwanted at the French court, where she also served no purpose. Thus, Louise Elisabeth first settled in the Chateau de Vincennes, and then in the Luxembourg Palace, where she lived out her life in seclusion. Louise Elisabeth d'Orléans died forgotten by all at the age of 32 on June 16, 1742, in the Luxembourg Palace. She was buried on June 21st in the church of Saint-Sulpice in Paris. Like most French royals, her tomb was destroyed during the French Revolution.
As mentioned at the start of my video, I'm also organizing a small giveaway to celebrate the one year anniversary of my channel. The giveaway is open to viewers from all countries and ages and consists of a Versailles Palace writing box which was purchased at the official boutique of the Chateau of Versailles. For more information about the writing box, please check my description. In order to participate, all you have to do is write a new comment with the name of your favorite royal. You don't have to be a subscriber to my channel to participate, although it would be greatly appreciated if you do subscribe, of course. You can only enter the contest once. Multiple entries by the same person in my comments will be regarded as one entry only. The contest closes on March 10, 2022 at 11.59 p.m. Central European time and the winner will be announced shortly after. Looking forward to seeing your comments and thank you for your support during the past year.